Hello friends, how are you? Let us now try to learn how to use the keyboard. Right, okay, let's start. In this chapter, we have to learn three important things. Get familiar with keys on keyboard. Learn to type with notepad. Learn to type fast. Chapter 4, keyboard. Hi friends, how are you? I think everybody understood our previous lessons. Now, we will begin to study about keyboard and its functions. Okay, let's start. Friends, you know what a keyboard is? Keyboard is an input device of the computer. It's used to enter data into a computer. The computer helps us to type letters, numbers, symbols, etc. It is also used to type name, age, address, etc. The keys are arranged in the keyboard as in a typewriter. Different types of keys on the keyboard are alphabetic keys, numeric keys, function keys, special keys. Alphabetic keys are placed in the middle of the keyboard. Numeric keys are there in two places on a keyboard. One is on the right side of the keyboard and another one is on the upper side of the alphabetic keys. Function keys are situated at the top of the keyboard and special keys are situated near the alphabetic keys. Function keys. Function keys are situated on the top of the keyboard. The keys are marked F1, F2, etc. Up to F12. These keys are used to shortcut different tasks on the computer. They work very fast. These keys are programmed to perform some special functions. We will study them in detail in future classes. Example, if we press F1 key, Windows Help and Support screen will appear. Watch it. It gives help and support if we come across any trouble or get confused what to do when working with them. Special keys. There are many other keys on the keyboard and they are commonly called special keys. Example, Ender keys, Spacebar, Backspace key, Caps Lock key and Delete key are some other keys. They perform special tasks. Let's see the working of some special keys. The special keys are spread on the keyboard. Most of the special keys are near the alphabetic keys. The functions of some special keys are as follows. Ender key. The ender key is the master key on the keyboard. Its function is to move the cursor to the next line while pressing on it, the cursor shifts to the next line or a page. It is also used to open a file or a program. There are two ender keys in a keyboard. Friends, please see that Arun wants to type numbers 1 to 10. He has typed up to 3. Can you help him to complete? Use ender key to bring down the cursor to the next line. Space bar. The space bar is used to put a space between two alphabets for numbers. You can press space bar key once for a single space if you need some more space in the typing work the same can be repeated using the space bar it's the longest key on the keyboard caps lock key friends caps lock key is used to get capital letters on pressing it a small light glows on the left of the keyboard which indicates that the text you will type will be shown in capital letters on the screen. You will have to press the shift key then type the letter it will be seen as a capital. In case you need to continue typing in capital letters you may press the cap lock once. This time the light glows continuously on the right corner of the keyboard. Now to get small letters press the caps lock key again. Now the green light will be off. Delete key Friends, this key is used to erase or delete which are typed. 
On pressing the delete key, it removes a character or letter from the right side of the cursor. You can also use delete key to delete a file or folder. To delete any character or a letter, you have to place the cursor before the letter and press the delete key. Then the letter or character will get removed from the screen or the document. Backspace key. This key is like a delete key which can remove anything like wrongly typed letters or characters. It removes letters from left side of the cursor. It always moves backwards. To remove or delete any letter, you have to place the cursor after the letter and press backspace key. Then the letter will be removed. Shift key. This key has two functions. There are two shift keys on the keyboard. One is on the left and another on the right side of your little fingers. If they are placed properly on the keyboard, by pressing and holding it, you can type all alphabets. Once released, the letters will be in small case if typed starting notepad. Friends, now we will learn notepad functions. To write using notepad, there is no need of a pen or notebook. Keyboard works as a pen and instead of a notebook, we are using a word processor. The software used to type letters, words, rhymes, etc. on a computer is called Word Processor. Notepad, WordPad, Microsoft Word and Open Office Writer are some of the word processor softwares. How to open Notepad? First, you click on the Start button, select All Programs, then select Accessories from the panel. Now, you will see Notepad. Friends, now we have Notepad. Now, start working with it. Hi friends! Do you see a blinking line at the top left area on the Notepad? It is called Cursor. The cursor shows the position where you can type or input anything. Now, you can start typing your name, phone number, letters, etc. 